Let's make Summer a new outfit. Even though she is by Integrity Toys, I believe we can use many of our existing patterns. I am going to use our PJ pant pattern to make a pair of sweats. This pattern is already available on our blog, myfrockystuff.blogspot.com. After printing it out, cut it out. For the fabric, we are using an orange t-shirt. Place the pattern onto the fabric. Use pins to secure it in place. Cut it out. Remove the pins. My fabric was folded over, so I ended up with two. I want to make a stripe going down the side. So let's fold it in half. Cut on the fold. Take white t-shirt material. Cut a half inch strip of fabric. Separate the two pieces of orange fabric and lay them so the good side is facing up. Place the white fabric on top, good side facing down, lining it up on the newly cut edge. I'm going to use my sewing machine to sew a straight line going all the way down with a fairly small seam allowance. I'm using orange thread just because most of the sweatpants will be sewn in orange and I'm too lazy to switch out colors. Now let's sew that line very slowly and hopefully the fabric won't shift. Flip it over, iron it down, take the other half of the pant leg, place the good side on the edge of the white stripe. I'm gonna flip it over so I can see the white stripe. Sew a straight line, open it up and iron it flat to have a stripe going down the center of the pant leg. Ah, my line is not completely even, but I think it'll work. Repeat for the other leg. My second leg came out a little neater because, you know, practice makes better. Sew a straight line on both sides of the white fabric going all the way down. This helps everything to stay nice and flat. Take the pant legs and stack them good side to good side lining them up at the curve. There are two curves here. One is more deep and the other is more shallow. We're gonna sew the shallow end first. This will be the front of the pants. Cut the collar off of the t-shirt. With the good side facing up, line up the raw edges on the bottom of the legs. Sew a straight line, pulling the collar as you go. This will make it gather a little at the bottom. Trim off the excess and repeat for the other leg. Let's move up to the top and add a waistband. I am using more of the collar, lining up the raw edges and pulling the collar as I go. This gives us a nice thick gathered waistband. Take white thread, take a few long strings, tape it onto a surface, divide the threads into three parts, braid them, Thread the end on an embroidery needle. Sew it onto the front of the waistband. I'm actually going between the two layers here and trying to come out evenly spaced on the other side. Yay, we did it. Now we just need to knot the ends, trim off the excess and tie a tiny bow. Fold it in half, lining up the curved edges. Sew a straight line from the top of the waistband all the way around the curve. Pull the bottom apart, fold it in half, lining up the raw edges. Sew a straight line from one end all the way to the other. Turn it inside out to make a pair of miniature sweatpants. I hope they fit, or we'll be making these all over again. Okay, I can work with that. Let's modify another pattern. I added some sleeves and took it in at the bottom a little. Now I have to redraw this to separate the sleeves. Okay, my proportions might be off a little. I think one sleeve looks bigger than the other, but we'll just have to try it out and see how it looks. Cut it out and pin it onto t-shirt material. Carefully cut around the pattern. Remove the pins with the good side facing up. Place the sleeves on the ends so they are good side to good side, matching up the raw edges. Sew a straight line going across to attach the sleeve. Repeat for the other side. Cut a thin strip 
of the leftover t-shirt material, line up the raw edges with the opening for the neck, sew a straight line, then flip it over the edge, and sew a straight stitch along the seam. This will help to keep the collar down. Now I did have a difficult time keeping that stitch straight, but let's just keep going. We've already gone this far. I want the sleeves to look like they're rolled up, so I cut a rectangle of fabric, fold it in half so the good side is on the inside, line it up with the raw edge at the bottom of the sleeve, sew a straight line going across. Once sewn, open the tube and kind of flatten it so the seam is a lot farther down and it looks like you have a soft edge on both ends. With the good side of the rest of the shirt facing up, fold it in half, lining up the raw edges. Take the back of the shirt and line it up with the front of the shirt. Use pins if needed to hold it in place. Then sew a straight line from the sleeve all the way down to the bottom of the shirt. Repeat for the other side, fold over and hem the bottom. I wanna make this a crop top, so I'm gonna hem it a little higher. Then take the ends, line them up, and sew a straight line down the back. Flip it right side out. Whoa, those sleeves turned out pretty skinny and long. Let's see how it looks on the doll. Put the shirt on, feet first. Hey, it actually looks pretty good. I'm pleasantly surprised. I removed the shirt from the doll. I'm gonna use some transfer sheets. I print it out, making sure it is a mirror image of what I want it to say. Cut it out. I put the shirt on a piece of wood. Turn the picture over. Place it on the shirt upside down. Now I'm going to iron on a cotton setting with no steam. I place a small piece of cotton between my shirt and the iron. And you have to carefully peel off the backing while it's still hot. Please say this worked. Please say it worked. All right, working so far. Working so far. All right. Pair it with a printable designer purse. And now Summer has the first of many comfy outfits. Thank you for joining us while we started Summer's new wardrobe. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! I'll let you win.